not losing money for a fund manager is actually impossible in the short term because the job of the fund manager is to actually take calculated risks. So once you take a risk, there's the possibility of a bad outcome. But the key is to have a long enough time horizon that you're able to do what is sensible over that time horizon and be able to bear the short-term movements. Now, an integral part of that is that the client must understand this. And so the client needs to know what the process is, needs to understand that things can go down before up, uh, and must be able to stay the course. Because if anyone panics along the path, and actually wants to get out after some bad news, then actually they lock in a loss and never experience the, the, the edge or the value added from the active fund manager. So I think it's important to do something sensible over a medium term framework, such as looking for good value or investing in the right quality, but being able to bear the short term noise or, or downward movements. As a long short manager, it's important to be realistic about what's achievable. So there are a series of risks or calculated risks that the fund manager takes. Some of these are what I'll call basic risks. For example, stock market or beta risk, exposure to the general level of the stock market, uh, interest rate or duration risk associated with bonds, or credit risk associated with the credit risk of, of a fixed income security. If you take those basic risks, you should expect a certain level of reward for those risks over a meaningful time horizon, but obviously you have big short-term risks to the downside. Beyond that, there are more idiosyncratic risks, say stock selection risk, the risk of an individual stock doing something unique above and beyond what the overall market does or you'd expect from it given its other characteristics. And then there are other risks such as style, like value or not value, momentum. Um, country risk, you know, being overweight one country at the expense of another, or sector risk, being exposed to one sector above another. So, so those risks you might expect to get rewarded for to some extent. And then above that, there's the potential for manager added value or edge. Can the manager actually pick good stocks? Can they actually earn a return above and beyond what other active managers of the market might achieve? The way I think about what's achievable is to actually sum up the, the, the returns that you'd expect for the basic risks you get, and then try to layer in what other returns you might expect plus the manager's potential edge, and then take away the fees. And a simple way for uh, my fund, which is an equity long short fund, to think about this is to say, I'll normally take a little bit of stock market risk, and let's say I'm one quarter uh, exposed to the stock market on a, on a net basis, longs, take away shorts. And if the stock markets go up 8% a year, a quarter of that, that might add 2% uh, of, of returns. Then I take style risk, like valueness or quality, and that might add another 1% or 2% or, or so. And that would take me up to 3 or 4%. Take off the fees, maybe less, just under 1%, and you're back to about 3%. And then I aspire as an active manager to add 3% of value added each year. That would be my edge, the alpha. Uh, as, as they call it, and 3 plus 3 would be 6. So I think by taking very modest levels of basic risk and taking some style risk and then stock selection, trying to add value, it's possible to earn about a 6% return in this kind of environment over the longer term. But of course in any year you can lose money or make more than that, but that's a realistic expectation from a manager who's taking a modest amount of market risk in an equity long short absolute return fund.